walking by the Trinity Center one day and uh, I had uh, I, I had lost lost a job you know because uh, they laid off about, about about seven eight people at the same time and that, that left me with the transportation problem going from Austin to my mother lives 25 basically she was living 25 miles outside the city limits uh, so I had to uh, really really figure out a way to you know uh, try to get back to a level of sustainability real quick and real, real well sustainability. I wanted to be, when I, when I got there, I wanted to be on solid ground. Passed by the Trinity Center and people were heading into the art program, so I just got in line. And that, that changed, that did change my life. Well, I've been aware of the program for many years. I've been in, in Austin since uh, 02, almost 20 years, and I've always uh, seen the murals that go up on South Lamar. I've seen a lot of the works at various pop-ups and shows, and I'm just really keen and have been looking to it, like figure out a way to collaborate and even support the organizations. 2009, that uh, I, I I ran into people who are associated with Art from the Streets and that uh, conversation would lead to an address, the times, the, week, the days of the week and stop by and I did and it was, uh, it was uh, enjoyable. One of my favorite things to do is to talk about art who maybe don't, with people who maybe don't have the same level of intense education that I do, because I think their perspective is fresh. It's so easy to get caught up in academia and to forget that, you know, there, I started doing this because I loved the act of mark making, because colors are pretty, you know? And anytime I can sort of step closer to people who are doing it for that more pure passion and love and haven't gotten as quite caught up in the intellectual aspects of it, I really enjoy it. And I came here today and spontaneously collaborated with one of the artists, which was fantastic. Well, I've known J Jay, who's involved in it for a long time, who organized the show that we're all working towards. So, and I mean, I have a piece, a couple pieces in the show as well. So, um, part of the whole theme of this, I'd heard art from the streets before. I'd seen some of their presence at a couple of big art events, and I, I've always been interested in sort of civic engagement. And so, I felt like this was a good, good opportunity to get engaged. You know, with the organization and hopefully help out, kind of create something and help facilitate. Curating a show is very different than putting on your own. I've done a solo exhibition at the Doherty Arts Center and that was, you know, 18 months in the making. Uh, lots of time, energy, resources, money spent on getting enough work ready for a show like that. This, on the other hand, while we only have one or a few pieces each as, as each artist, because we have almost 30 artists in the show, is the organization of it and the logistics and you know making sure that artists' voices are heard, but there's also a kind of a continuity or a narrative throughout the, the show so that, so that it doesn't just feel like a, an explosion of randomness, but like actually kind of on that theme, you know. Great theme. It's uh, contemporary, it's streetwise, it has as much diversity as the number of people who work on it. So I'm looking forward to having my little piece of the pie and uh, having my thumb in, in the works, as it were. Sometimes I start off want to work with a real cool idea and it goes over in a corner and it doesn't come and nothing happens. And then sometimes I'll, I'll be sitting up and something will pop into my head and next thing you know I'm at least got something in a good composition in mind. In mind. Because most of the time it doesn't come from in mind. It comes from like right in here. Or right in here, you know. And uh, that's as much as I can tell you is how I put a piece of artwork together. It's like a puzzle for me sometimes. Like you have to stay organized, but at the same time, um, to kind of give opportunities also to other artists that maybe haven't ever had a, a gallery show of this magnitude. Um, the Georgetown Art Center is pretty renowned and it's a beautiful space. are 
pleasantly surprised by the breadth and technical ability and conceptual ability of work that's coming from people who aren't traditionally like blue chip New York gallery artists. Because a lot of people think about art in terms of like art in a gallery and feel a barrier between themselves and it and put separation between someone who does street art such as spray painting, you know, spontaneous murals tagging and say, oh, that's not real art. Or someone who comes to just sort of an open afternoon as a way to get out of the heat. Well, that's not really real art. It's absolutely 100% real art. And I think that once the general public encounters the works themselves, and sees them in this professionalized setting, we can maybe start to break down like this false dichotomy of what's real art, what's not real art, what's good art, what's not good art. Because what, what makes art good is your personal response to it. Do you feel something? Yes. Are you attracted to it? Yes. You don't have to overthink it, you know? If you like it, it's good art. You don't need someone who has a master's degree in art history to tell you that it's good art. To show your work in that space uh, for some artists for the first time is a joy to see, you know, and when, when artists light up because they know that their work is being viewed in a professional way. I think also interacting with the public, like at the reception and at events throughout the, the course of the exhibition is immensely rewarding. People are, you know, vibing off of and, and feeding off of your work and the energy that you put into it, giving compliments, having dialogues, asking deep questions of themselves. Those are all the reasons why we do what we do. It's a collaborative process and uh, I hope the people will uh, be able to, uh, to get a, a sensation of, of collaboration that was uh, done to make it happen. At the same time, it, it would have to, if it, if it clicks, it works, it gels, it, it, has its own, it has its own life force, it will be an inspiration as well to anyone who will see it because Anytime you can get a project, a group of people to, to you know, think on, on, a, on a one direction or some, some semblance of, of a theme, a motif, and then you see the various approaches that are taken to get that accomplished, it has to be, it has to be inspiring. So that's, that's a, great, a great piece of fun to be part of a uh, collaborative piece.